Hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of History with Mr. Mink. Today, we're going to be learning about George Washington. But first, we dance. So when I was younger, I knew four things about George Washington. He was the first president of the United States, he fought in the Revolutionary War, he had wooden teeth, and he chopped down a cherry tree. In this video, we'll learn more about his life before the Revolutionary War and presidency, and see if we can debunk any of these common facts about the one and only George America Washington. George Washington was born on February 22nd, 1732, in Pope's Creek, Virginia, where his father had built their plantation house in the 1720s. He had no middle name, but that was actually pretty common back then. Growing up, George Washington had one half-sister, three half-brothers, two full sisters, three full brothers, nine brothers and sisters. Nine. This may come as a surprise, but George Washington didn't have any formal education past 11 years old. When he was 11, his father passed away. And since he was the oldest boy living at home, it was his job to manage their tobacco farm. His older half-brothers had actually got to go to school in England. And for the rest of his life, he was actually pretty embarrassed about his lack of education. When he was 14, he really wanted to join the Royal Navy, but his mom wouldn't let him. Silly moms. So let's back up a minute. What about this cherry tree story? Well, the story goes like this. When little Georgie was six, someone got him a hatchet for a gift, like you do with a six-year-old. He then promptly went out and cut down his father's favorite cherry tree. Since back then people couldn't favorite tweets, apparently they favorited trees. When his dad saw, he was furious and heartbroken because, you know, favorite. So he goes to George and he's like, Yo, did you cut down my cherry tree? George? And George is like, Yeah, that's my bad. His dad says, Wow, your honesty and integrity in this moment will live on forever. And they hugged. What a wholesome, fun-filled, true story. Boy! Yeah, so that probably never happened. Parson Weems wrote George Washington's first biography in 1800, and this story didn't appear in that book until 1806, in the fifth edition. He said he got the story from an old woman who knew the family, but that source was never verified. More than likely, this is just a story to teach morality. After all, Weems was also a pastor, so it makes sense that he would want to teach morality. But is it really moral to tell a lie in order to teach morality? So let's talk about the time George helped start a world war. And no, I'm not talking about the Revolutionary War. George had a desire to join the military, largely due to listening to stories from his older brother's service days. In 1752, he did just that. By 1754, he was leading troops into his first battle. France and Great Britain both wanted control of the rights to the land right outside the colonies. And since Virginia was a British colony, George was fighting for Great Britain. He led a group of British soldiers, along with a group of Native Americans, and pulled a sneak attack on a French camp in what is now modern-day Pennsylvania. According to one native's account, Washington fired the first bullet. Washington was later called by the French an assassin. Several French soldiers were killed, including the camp's leader. Others were taken hostage. A great success! Not quite. A little over a month later, French forces along with Native forces overwhelmed Washington's men at Fort Necessity, and Washington surrendered. Yeah. Washington surrendered to the French. They allowed his disarmed men to leave, and this set the stage for the French and Indian War, which saw European allies from both sides come to join. This spilled over into other colonies in Africa and Asia and became later known as the Seven Years' War. In the end, the French were booted out of the territory, and the British gained a stranglehold on the colonies and the land surrounding. All of this started with Washington's peacetime attack on the French. Also, did I mention he was only 22? I played so much Madden at 22. Fun fact! So let's talk about G-dubs, not to be confused with W's, teeth. He ruined his teeth by using them to crack walnut shells. So yeah, George Washington had to have dentures, or as I like to call them, presidentures. All because of walnuts. His teeth were totally made out of wood, right? Perhaps cherry wood? wrong -o. George Washington's teeth actually came from many materials, such as lead, cow teeth, ivory, and even human teeth, which sadly were likely pulled from his slaves. Washington made a lot of military mistakes early on in his career, but he learned valuable information from these mistakes about military logistics, organization, but even greater, he learned about British strategy from the inside, which would come in pretty handy a few years later. That's it for this video. 
Look out for a video in the future possibly about George Washington's life from the Revolutionary War forward. You can check out the links in the description if you'd like to watch any of my other history videos as well as a link to my Twitter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye.